Hello, child of God. Do you have an intense interest in gardening? For some of us, that intense interest is almost an obsession. I think it's a gift from God. Almighty God is the Spirit who created mankind and put mankind into the Garden of Eden. Each evening, Almighty God would come and walk and talk with Adam and Eve in that garden. The Garden of Eden was a place where God would fellowship with his friends and where Adam and Eve would get to know God. Almighty God has not changed. He still wants to walk and talk with his creation in the garden. Growing plants and learning about the physical creation is a very enjoyable experience. But the greater and more exciting experience is walking with God and discussing your garden with him. After you have watched a few of those excellent gardening teachers on YouTube and you're ready to try a few of the ideas of your own, you're also ready to discuss your ideas and your plans with God. Recently, the direction the Lord sent me to study was in plant sugars. In this video, I'd like to share a little of what I've learned. This is almost winter in the USA and trees are beginning to move quickly into dormancy. Plant sugars are flowing from the leaves and branches down to be stored in the roots for the winter. I realize now why the Lord suggested I learn about plant sugar. Because of my plans to root hundreds of apple tree cuttings this year. The rooted cuttings are like a savings account becoming more and more valuable each year the trees grow. Plant sugars are a key ingredient in the success of rooting many plant cuttings. Take your plant cuttings just the way the professional plant nursery teachers on YouTube show you, but then give them a transfusion of sugar water before you try to root them. Sugar is not fertilizer. Excess fertilizer can burn new roots and kill your cuttings. But sugar water is close to a pH of 7, so the plant-killing bacteria easily grow in sugar water and kill the rooting. Therefore, we make the pH way too high for the bacteria to thrive, by increasing the pH with bleach or lowering the pH so the bacteria can't thrive with vinegar. This is not a new spooky spiritual invention. Florists have been adding sugar water to flowers for years. These are some of the formulas that I've found on the internet that the professional florists use. Many gardeners dip their cuttings into raw bee honey. It has a natural antibiotic and is a wonderful source of sugar for the cuttings. But bee honey is not a real rooting hormone. It's a sugar. Rooting hormones are created in most plants that will root. For example, the tips of the willow tree limb create several rooting chemicals that have been used for centuries as a natural rooting hormone. In this next video, we'll discuss making a rooting hormone chemical factory out of willow branch tips. Like I said, plant sugars are not fertilizers, and they are not rooting hormones. I like to use a little sugar cane sugar, add a little vinegar to kill the bacteria, and give my cuttings a transfusion before I put them in the dirt and encourage them to root. A cutting will soak up the sugar water, and the sugar water will give it a better chance of surviving the challenge of rooting. This is similar to what happens in the plant when the leaves that manufacture the needed nutrients by photosynthesis convert the carbon dioxide and water to sugar fuels. I've conducted another experiment. This one is concerning rooting a shrub with the help of extra sugars. I'm using six honey sauce packets from KFC. The ingredients are high fructose corn syrup, sugar, and 7% honey, plus some molasses and water and so on. Mainly, it's a packet of plant sugars. The experiment is to take six cuttings and add rooting hormone alone, and take six more cuttings and add the rooting hormones and put the cuttings in the honey sauce packs. All of these cuttings will be in the same pot and experience the same treatment for a couple of months. Then I'll check to see the progress of the roots. I'll post the results on another video. The most important learning experience here is not about the plant sugars. The most important learning experience is talking with Almighty God in the greenhouse and learning to learn from His instructions. He's willing to fellowship and teach us. If we're willing to... For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart.
and I will be found of you, saith the Lord. Almighty God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Just ask him to join you in your garden and teach you to be a more successful gardener. Any subject at all. Almighty God is not only concerned with your sin and your money. He wants to be your friend and fellowship with you. Almighty God is looking for the opportunity to bless you. Peace be unto your house. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.